So I own a 2019 LC500 uh, with the performance package and I've seen a lot of reviews. I, I watched so many before I bought this car because I just really wanted it. It was my dream car. Now I have it. And so I wanted to do kind of a review because I saw a lot on YouTube and a lot of them didn't really touch on some of the points that I thought were more interesting now that I actually own this car. Uh, didn't really communicate what it's actually like to live with it. Little background, I drive this car 100 miles a day, uh, every day of the week. So I've put 20,000 miles on it in um, like six months, which is sacrilegious, but oh well, it's it's fun. I'd rather, I'd rather drive this than uh, anything else if I had to do a commute. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a review here, uh, just starting with just what it's like to drive this. Um, so it's very comfortable when you're doing long distance driving. Uh, I could go, you know, days in this car and I never feel uncomfortable, it's great. Uh, climate's awesome. Um, it has gotta be one of the, this is something that they don't talk about on the reviews. This is probably the most ergonomical cabin and cockpit I've, I've ever been in of any car. Um, they loan me other Lexuses when I get it serviced, so I've driven all the other ones. They don't even come close. They just didn't think it out quite as well as they did with this car. So this car is just kind of the most ergonomical car I've ever been in. I'm gonna quick cut and kind of show some examples of how good it is. If I can figure out the switch. How do you switch this? Hmm. So, first off, the center control unit. One, yes, everybody complains about this touchpad dongle thing, uh, that it's obnoxious and difficult to use. I really disagree. It's really annoying and it does kind of skip over sometimes and you miss what you want to click. But the big advantage is that you never have to put fingerprints on your screen. Also, the big advantage is that you don't have to reach all the way up here to touch a screen like you do in other cars. And the positioning of this is perfect. So it's got this little ergonomical kind of wrist support so you don't get carpal tunnel. It fits perfect. Your fingers perfectly go to the power, to the volume, tune, change your track, menu. It's the most thought out design for a control system. Even more so, what blows me away is that it is totally ambidextrous. So even though it's a sports car and you've got this big, you know, kind of cockpitty thing here to divide from the passenger side to the driver's side to make you feel like, ooh, it's yours, you know, you're uh, really in control, the passenger can't get to it. No, if you sit in the passenger seat, which I do sometimes when my wife drives, it is absolutely the same accessibility and the same ergonomics from the passenger that it is to the driver, which is just brilliant. Uh, the drive controls, of course, are right here, which aren't, but that totally makes sense because only the driver's gonna use this. Okay, moving on, this whole flat top where you have the uh, storage compartment is great. It's very comfortable. It's right at the perfect height. I got in a, what is the giant uh, Lexus SUV recently, and it's it was like a hard edge here it was too high up uh totally uncomfortable this is so nice and big and you just you can just leave your arm resting there for uh, hours and it just makes it so comfortable um, similarly on the passenger side just thought process detail on the interior even this little cup you have to excuse the crumbs three pieces of leather stitched into here just to make this little cup thing and it just happens to fit perfectly so your hand you know isn't stressed in a position like that you've just got this perfect little cup holder thing it's not a cup holder it would be great if there were more cup holders but it fits your hand perfectly so it's so comfortable to leave it here door handle also incredibly ergonomical just comes right to you the uh, armrest here perfect height obviously you're going to adjust that to what you want so those are just some of the initial ergonomic features of this car that are just so well thought out and it just functions. It's so much more enjoyable to be in than other cars that I've driven, really any other car that I've driven. Okay, next thing is the climate controls. This is really one of my big gripes, but going back to the ergonomics of it, it's perfect. I've 
looked at this in the other Lexuses and other cars and you've got a slew of buttons here and you have to press them and they, uh, you know, they have the little like fan icon thing on it and you've got to like press the up one for up and the down one for down. And, you know, even if you're driving, you got to look over and make sure because you don't know which one it is because there's like seven buttons and they all do different things and they just have an image on them. This, it's just down for down, up for up. It's one button. Same thing with the temperature, up for up, down for down. Fan, off, simple, and it's closest to you. So you can turn it on and off. That's the closest to you, the thing you use most often. Next is you're setting the temperature. This would be auto, so third thing from, or fourth thing from you is the, uh, fourth thing from you is the fan control. And so it just makes sense that it's laid out all the way to least thing you're gonna use, which is gonna be your rear, uh, uh, window defogger and your mirror heater and your front so it just goes from most used to least used farthest from you which is just again thinking i love to see this in a car design because it just means someone thought about how often you use things and it just put the most useful things closest to you and simplified them down to just a few buttons it's like a uh, uh an ipod of cars nobody could talk about the ergonomics in this car without talking about the seats these are the sport seats, Alcantara, they're bolstered, they're supposed to be the sporty, hold you in, and they really do, but they're also just incredibly comfortable. They have just great lumbar support, uh, not quite as adjustable as some cars uh, like a Mercedes or something, uh, kind of more 100% geared towards luxury, but just really comfortable very easy to be in here. Anybody who's driven Lexuses knows most of them do this, a lot of cars do this, but if you're coming like me from a mid 2000s economy box, absolutely cheapest car you could have, uh, your college car, and you come to something like this, greatest feature is when we turn it off, which is conveniently, again, ergonomics right there, very easy to reach. Up and back, tucks away. If we turn it back on, we get that right back to where we want it. So that just makes getting in and out of the car really easy. And I have to say, you know, little electronic things like this on another car, I might worry about them breaking on a Lexus. I have a friend who has a 2004 GS and that function still works perfectly smoothly every single time. Those are the type of little electronic motors and, and gimmicky things that I think on other car brands, you just see brake all the time and you worry like, I'm gonna get this car and then it's gonna break. Great thing with Alexis is just, you get something like this and it's gonna work perfect every single time for the next 30 years. I just don't know another car brand where you get that type of reliability. Now the car does not have a lot of cup holders or really many at all. There's one sort of cup holder here and uh, you'll be lucky if a drink stays stable in there but you can give it a shot. Really, there's only one cup holder. It's right here, it's for the driver. But again, ergonomics, it's so smart. Now, it does block these controls when you have a drink here, but like I said earlier, these controls on the far side, you're not gonna use them all that often. Let's start the car. You're not gonna use these ones very often, so the fact that it's blocked really never bugs me. Um, auto pretty much does everything I needed to, to keep it cool at the right temperature and at the right vents. Best ergonomic feature about this cup holder, I get in, I have a cup where I reach and I get one from the, uh, you know, drive-through and I don't have hands now because my other hand has my wallet or the steering wheel or I'm driving off and this hand's just holding it. I don't have a drink to demonstrate this, but this, but I'm, I'm going to just demonstrate this with my hand here. Put the drink down opens put the drink in it's again so well thought out i love it the first time i realized that when i was like ah crap i gotta open it and i just did that and it opened with the drink and then i'm able to put it in i know it seems kind of like minor small thing that you wouldn't think about very often but that's why it's so awesome because it is a small thing that you wouldn't think about very often and there just aren't that many car makers making a design that's so, uh, I guess I'd call it human centric, that it's just actually thought through, how do you exist in this space? How do you sit here and go about your daily life and just doing simple things like putting your drink in the cup holder? 
Uh, it just makes it so much easier. So it's one of those cars where, you know, living with it day to day is super enjoyable, very comfortable. Uh, it's, it's a joy to be in.